loves. So welcome back again sa aking humble video lesson na about entrepreneurship. So for today's video, uh, magbibigay ako ng overview or discussion about sa inyong week 3 module which is analyze the market. Okay? Itong module na to, siya na yung magiging start ng process na gagawin ninyo para makabuo kayo ng business plan at the end of the semester. So, ipa-flash ko lang ang ating module. Ayan. Okay, so quarter 1, module 2, lesson 1, analyze the market. Okay, again, thank you po kala Ma'am Elsa Lakindanum sa inyo pong module. Okay, so mag-start po tayo. Ayan, so module 2 is divided into these lessons. Okay, so dito po tayo kay analyze the market need. And then you have your preliminary activities. Okay, you can draw this puzzle in your notebook. And then you have your clues. Okay, so, okay, lesson one, analyze the market. Uh, this one, na uh, discuss natin to in the previous uh, module, I think in lesson two. And then, what's in? You have jumbled letters. You can answer this in your notebook also. Then, Okay, another activities for what's new. Let's go now to what is it. So here, you have the marketplace needs. According to this definition, marketing concept relates to functional or emotional needs. Uh, etong mga needs na to, i-discuss natin mamaya based dun sa hierarchy sa ma-discuss natin siya and these are some target market when we say target market these are your customers okay ayan segment of customers it could include babies and teenagers uh, young adults or young professionals also senior citizens so alin doon yung kailangan or yung gusto ninyong i-cater na target market. So, after nyo ma-identify yung inyong target market, i-match nyo na ito, promotes products or services to match. Malalaman nyo na kung ano yung applicable na products or services para sa kanila. So, kailangan nyo muna ma-identify kung sino ang inyong bebentahan o kung sino ang inyong customers. Okay? Also, yan, the more critical daw, differentiated. So, kapag uh, kakaiba, at kailangan-kailangan yung target market ninyo, yung products na ino-offer ninyo, sabi dito, more profit you can potentially, potentially generate. Okay? So, syempre, kayo lang ang mag-offer noon at kailangan-kailangan ng target market ninyo, mabibilhan kayo ng products na i-offer ninyo. Now, let's go to the identify the market needs. Here, sinasabi niya na kailangan Merong customer na nangangailangan ng inyong product. Kapag wala, wala kang market or target market na bibili ng iyong product. So, kailangan meron kang product that will offer a solution sa kanila. Okay? Next. Ayan. So, yung mga businesses, uh, nag -e exist sila para makatulong sa problem ng customers. Uh, in relation... In this current situation, uh, meron tayong COVID-19. So, ano yung mga naging necessities natin? So, we have uh, alcohol, uh, face mask, face shield. So, yun yung mga businesses na nakatulong sa atin, sa, sa, sa ating mga target market sa current situation natin. So, merong mga nagkaroon ng uh, naging reseller ng mga face mask, face shields. Okay? So, yun po siya. So, ayan. Nag i-exist sila para makatulong sa customer's problem and meet their needs. Okay? So, also indicated for a reasonable price. Medyo nagkaroon lang ng conflict dito before. Last year, I believe, na nagtaasan yung mga prices. But now, uh, medyo na-regulate naman na yung mga prices ng mga uh, face mask, face shield, and alcohol. 
actually regulated na talaga siya. And also, nagkaroon na rin ng maraming competitors sa market. Kaya yung mga prices, uh, mababa na rin siya compare last year. Also, ayan, ito pa yung ibang mga samples. Ayan, yung mga grab, passenger saving time. Okay, so before ito. So, in Manila area, before yung mga taxi, nung wala pang grab. So, ngayon, Meron ng Grab, meron na rin Uber na online booking. So, nakakakuha na sila ng mga passengers. And also, yung mga passengers na magkakalapit, nakakuha na nila. And also, additional profit for them. Also, ito, ayan, si Lazada, si Shopee, ano pa yung mga online shopping platform na meron tayo. Okay? So, also, it helps then sa customer na hindi na pumupunta directly dun sa mga uh, marketplace or yung mga malls natin para makabili ng mga needs nila. Ayan. Yung mga online sellers din na nag-live selling. Okay. So, nakatulong sila sa ating mga customers. Now, Okay, so may per group naman na akong ibinigay sa inyo. Okay, pwede nyo na kayong mag-usap-usap kung ano yung sa tingin ninyo, market or customer say is a problem. Ano yung pwedeng problema ngayon ng mga customer na gusto ninyong i-cater para masolusyonan ninyo at with the use of product na gagawin ninyo, okay, na ipopromote ninyo or ilalagay ninyo dun sa inyong business plan. So kapag Kasi yung customer problem ang inyong susolusyonan, magkakaroon kayo kaagad ng target market. Kasi kung sa tingin nyo lang, in your own opinion, na ito ang kailangan nila, eh, hindi. Hindi, hindi nila kayo mati- mabibilhan ng inyong product. So, and not what you believe is the problem. So, ang focus ninyo dito, sila. Okay? Yung customer nila. Also, ayan, may additional reminder siya. So, do not define your business around the product or services. So, instead, uh, around the problem or the customer's need. So, doon po ang focus ninyo. Okay? Customer's need and then yung product na pwedeng makatulong doon sa problema ni customer or sa need ni customer. Now, let's go to the... Ayan. Talking about the needs. Needs as a motivation in buying Prada. So, meron daw ditong five-stage model. Okay. Ayan, si uh, physiological safety, love and belongingness, steam needs, self-actualization needs. Ito siya. Okay. This one, ito yung makakatulong sa inyo na ma-identify kung ano yung needs sila at kung ano yung products na pwedeng makatulong sa kanila. Okay? So, needs as motivation for buying products. Now, ito, physiological. Ayan. Siya yung nasa pinakababa. So, ano yung mga physiological or the basic needs? So, food, water, warmth, rest. Okay. Pwede, food, uh, you can build your own restaurant. Water. Ang dami ding mga uh, water filling stations natin. So, ayan kasi yung mga basic needs. So, maraming mga entrepreneurs na nagtatayo ng mga businesses na kaya-target itong mga to. Okay? Also, safety needs. Next. And with this, yung mga security agency. Ayan. May mga entrepreneur na nagtatayo niyan. Ano pa yung mga sample niyan? Okay? Ayan. Schools. Okay, may mga private schools. Also, businesses, Medicare. Okay, also yung mga, ayan, yung mga private hospitals. Okay, so yan yung kinikater ni safety needs. Next are the love and belongingness needs. And this one is also focuses naman, uh, also the esteem needs or the psychological needs. So, dito naman, uh, it's about ayan, person's uh, interpersonal relationship. And this one naman, for the fourth level, 
classified in okay so esteem for oneself and dito naman for reputation or respect from others so this needs uh, I, I can't just right now identify kung ano ang possible na mga businesses but if you can uh, identify a customer's needs or a problem that will be resolved ng product ninyo uh, dito sa dalawang ito you could uh, discuss it with your groupmates okay and then last one is the self actualization needs so siya na yun nandito sa ating pinakataas ng Maslow's hierarchy self fulfillment needs dito naman uh, i could think of uh, entrepreneurs na magpuput up ng businesses uh, that could target their uh, what what really want what they really want in life so possibly yan yung mga, uh, academically inclined so mag they could uh, uh, build uh, tutorial centers and those uh, person na academic ay at Atletically naman, focused, so pwede silang mag uh, tayo ng mga, let's say, uh, sports centers. And, okay, so others may express creatively. So, minsan may mga nagtatayo ng mga art galleries, okay? Also, uh, painting lessons, okay? And for pictures, yung mga nag-offer ng photography lessons. Also, I could add maybe dito sa self-actualization needs yung mga uh, entrepreneurs or yung mga person na uh, makikater ng needs doon sa mga gusto talaga mag-travel. So, magkatayo sila ng travel agency. Okay? So, ayan. Uh, achieving one's full potential including creative activities. So, yun yung mga pwedeng uh, makapasok dito sa self-fulfillment needs. And, also, ayan, seeking screening and seizing opportunities for businesses. Dito naman, kapag naka-identify na kayo noong uh, problem na ng customers na target ninyo, ano ba yan, uh, mga babies, teenager, mga uh, senior citizens. So, uh, kung may nakita na kayong opportunities, pwede nyo na siyang i-grab or pwede nyo nang pagtuunan nyo ng uh, uh, focus ninyo para makapag-research na kayo. So, pag-desisyonan nyo na per group, okay? Okay, not not just staring at opportunities but actually taking advantage of it. So, ayan, nagkaroon nga ng, in this kind of situation, nagkaroon ng opportunities yung mga online sellers. Okay? So, marami na silang uh, na-target using the uh, uh, online platform. Yung mga Facebook, ayan, the YouTube, okay? And then, ayun nga, seeing problems as opportunities. So, yung problema ng ating mga customers, ng ating target market, yun yung magiging opportunities natin to start and grow our business. Okay? And that ends the discussion for this week 3 module. So, you have your activities. Again, what I have learned. Okay, so, dito sa what I can do. Uh, you can read this one. Okay, so, ito yung magiging first part na inyong business plan na gagawin. So, think of your company na mag-discuss na kayo per group. So, I believe nakagawa na rin naman ako yun ang inyong uh, mga sarili-sariling group chats. Okay, also, products and services. Ano yung i-offer ninyong products or services? Then, sino ang inyong uh, market? Okay? Also, you could estimate na kung ano yung mga kakailangan ninyong capital. Ayan. Okay? Just read this one first. And then, dito sa inyong additional activities, you can use itong template na ito na nasa inyong module. But also, you could create your own. Okay? But same yung laman ha. Merong company, merong products and services, yan, yung market, financial consideration. So, yung apat na yan muna ang inyong pag-usap-usapan. Okay? And then, 
uh, submission, I will just announce it in our group. Okay, so that ends itong ating module 2, lesson 1. So, mag-discuss na lang ako uli. So, mag-upload ako for the next lesson. So, yan muna. Bye-bye!